Hello everybody, True Mercy, your 3 million G gamer. We're having a look at a new release today. This just came out as of today, which is the 3rd of November at time of recording. You'll probably see this much later because I only upload when I do a full playthrough uh, or finish the playthrough of a game. This is Tad the Lost Explorer. Now, just say your favorite explorer, Tad Stones, is back. And I'm thinking, who the heck is Tad Stones? Well, before we get into that, because I've done a little bit of research, go me. Um, we've uh, got the uh, details to go through. So it's priced at sixteen seventy four, which will probably make it under twenty dollars, under twenty euros. And it's uh, published and developed by Gamera Nest SL. Um, so I looked into this. Apparently, um, it was originally called Tadeo Jones. It was a 3D animated Spanish movie. It did release worldwide, but grossed $45 million on an $8 million budget. So it was classed as a hit because it made money. Uh, and there was a couple of sequels as well. Uh, a couple of sequels were Tad the Lost Explorer and The Secret King. Oh, Secret, Secret of King Midas, sorry. Uh, which was released in 2017. And the final installment was titled Tad, The Lost Explorer and the Emerald Tablet, which was released as recent as August of 2022. Uh, the original movie was released in 2012. Now, I've not heard of the thing. I've not heard of him whatsoever. So apparently now we have a video game. Uh, so let's uh, let's jump in and uh, see what it's all about. Hope you enjoyed that little um, background information about who this guy is. Um, I'm saying never heard of him. I don't even know who did the animation. Who did the animation? Because it wasn't like one of the, you know, ones that you recognize, like DreamWorks or like Pixar or something. Production companies, Telenco Cinema, El Toro Pictures, Lightbox Entertainment. I think I've heard of Elves before. Hmm. Yeah, anyway. Eight million budget, 45 million box office gross so um it's all right then apparently apparently he's actually called today old jones which tells his tad jones but in english versions they change it to stones for reasons reasons unknown why do they do stuff like this uh, new game levels, options, brightness, text language, voice language, invert, access, audio options, there's controls. Alright, uh, let's have a quick scan of the old achievements. They were all secret, I have made them. I think it's just, it's, no, 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 they weren't all secret. That was the other game I was recording earlier on. Ah, whatever, we'll, we'll just play the game. Probably collect everything, I'll bring up the true achievements while we're watching this. Who's the dog? Who's the dog? <sighs> Archaeology. As a mummy, I owe it everything. Mummy. You can only make the most amazing finds if you're a fearless archaeologist. And there's one archaeologist out of all of them who's the best of the best. I'm talking about my best friend, Tad Jones. Well, okay, so he's the only one I know, but he's brave. He's tough. It's like the achievement list one. is well, complete a lot of different named levels. Is. With all his craziness and collect all the brushes treasures. collect all the relics so collect all relics collect all brushes yeah Okay, it's very heavy. Go back to Sarah. Oh, it tells me how much percentage of brushes I've collected. I appreciate that. So we know we've got them all. Is this a thing we can do? Kick it. Oh, loads of brushes. Okay. Okay, initial super early thoughts, obviously. The graphics look solid enough. Um. 
it controls well. LT to roll or beat a crouch. Yeah, I've got you. Okay. Daddy's on that. Don't touch the spiky things. Yeah. Don't touch spiky things. It did uh, keep all the things we'd collected though, which I appreciate, which is good. is the temple that conceals a huge secret you have to go there and find oh. it the treasure trove of king packle that i was searching for my god i got a funny feeling old tad is a bit gullible i'm a shadow you're not a shadow oh and it's automatically collected nice okay tad off we go our relics in the levels as well or are they just certain levels Maybe relics replace paintbrushes in certain levels. Oh, point of no return, this guy's down here, we're down here. I got a rubber duck. Oh, duck tails, woohoo. Well, we're on the board now, guys, we got an achievement. We got an achievement in. Tad Jones, the Lost Explorer. Last Explorer? Lost Explorer? Tad the Lost Explorer, so he's not very good, is he? <laughs> he's deadly. Thought your only existing films better not fall. <laughs> yeah, this is this is solid enough. Now I've seen I've seen companies get greedy, right? And charge like £35 for stuff like this. Got a bit of issue there, I think. Look, a little bit of pop in there on the shadow. Um, what's that pop up coming up? Did someone come up to tell me how to do this or something? We made it, we're alive. Is such a ooh, what's this stamp? Let we'll me press pause. I think let's press the button. Here we go. Is that for this level? It is for this level. Oh, shit. So I need to be looking for that. Hopefully it introduces you to the first one, but it didn't introduce you to paintbrushes, so I don't know. Okay, we'll um, we'll just progress. I did notice there was a level select on the on the title screen, which is great, because it means after you beat the game, you can obviously dip into the levels and get whatever you haven't got sign of good design because uh, sometimes the player doesn't want to play the game sequentially all the way from the bloody start of game do they just to get something that they may have missed Whoop. press y to push and really oh right i'm pushing this uh what oh i push it up to push that's a bit stupid push the direction I'm facing, that would be more intuitive, wouldn't it? 
Okay, maybe this is split into zones or something. this bit. We're looking good. We're looking good. I'm sorry about that, guys. I us to speak to a family member. How did you get here? That's the least of it. Look for the hidden mechanism. This Olmex were quite clever, very discreet with the secrets. I don't know why I'm speaking like this for him. I'm leaving now. Don't follow me. I'm a shadow. You're not a shadow, you dingbat. Where's he going? Where's he going? Set the bush on fire and I'll get him out of there. Okay, so we have obviously brushes, we have relics, which I found none of. And we have stamps, which I found one of. I'm, I'm assuming there's a stamp and a relic in each area. And I'm hoping this gives me 100%. It didn't, it gave me 99%. I hate you, game. Where's the last one? There's two, there's two there that I missed. Are you for real? How did I miss those? How did I? Son of a bitch. Oh, cause they're up. Oh, you crafty bugger. Yeah, baby, 100%. Okay, we, we, we need to... I'm thinking... I, now, if I was to put a hidden relic somewhere, do you know where I would put it? I'd put it down one of these pits. I would honestly put it down one of these pits. Like a crafty bastard. I'm going to reveal all these pits. Uh, it's a bit of a budgy thing to do, but... You know, what a, what a good hiding place that would be, though. 
This one of the pits is safety and it's actually collectible. Nope, nope. I would love I absolutely I absolutely know nothing right about coding. Well, I used to. I used to code a few games in basic back in the days of the ZX Spectrum. Uh, but that, that's basically the extent of my coding, and I probably can't even remember how to do that anymore. Let's be honest. Um, but, you know, as to, like, like a, a director, or I think it'd be a director, wouldn't it? Game director? I'd be, I think I'd be fucking great at that job, honestly. I think I'd be great at that job, just shaping the direction a game goes in and what should be good. Because honestly, you, you wouldn't get shite from me. You would not get a shite game from me, seriously. I would tell these buggers straight. You know what I mean? No no half ass freaking measures. Um, you know what I mean? If someone's, if someone's dodgy, and it's like, nope, that's not acceptable. That's no, not any good. It needs to be improved this way, that way, whatever. Um, all right, I guess we press pull this. Aha! Okay, so pull it and... Run, 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 run. Okay, there's something else. I'll have to run when you use the lever. Do we, do we have a run button? Oh, right triggers the run button. Run, rabbit, run, rabbit, run, run, run. Oh, we've gone 2D. Oh, and now, oh, I love, I love this game. As I was saying, game design, right? I love it that they have put at the top left corner what there is on each level. Oh, you didn't put the stamp. You didn't put the stamp, to be fair. You didn't put the stamp on there, but you've now put a relic oh. on here. But it basically my teeth, but I'm in a mysterious temple hmm. of lost civilization. It must be the very old because I can only move by side scrolling from the spectrum area at least. <laughs> yes. Yes. I, oh, this game. This game. This game. I, I, yes. Yes, this game. Watch out for the spikes, Tad. What's this freaking... <laughs> yes! I was just... I just mentioned that Spectrum, didn't I? Side-scrolling. Did, did... Did we have, like, side-scrolling before that? Let's have a think. Yeah, we... No, they were probably... F e yeah, we did. We did have side scrolling before that, but it was mostly flick screen. Flick screen obviously is what it says on the tin. You get to the end of the screen and the game flicks and loads in the next screen. You don't have a continuous motion. Oh, we got air bubbles. Ooh. Oh, fish. Ah, oh, I got gobbled by a fish. Okay, right. Did this this gets this gets massive plus points, right? For just oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. There we go. Just for it thinking of the player. It's thinking of the player. It's what what's the annoying thing about collectibles, right? Is you don't know how many there is. Yeah? Or you don't know where they are. This tell this gives you all that information. This gives you all that information. What's the other worst thing about collectibles? Is if you miss one, you've got to play the whole game again. They put a level select in, so once again, they they thought of that. Press left trigger to roll. All right, we got another stamp. See, you you're not telling it what. See, this is this is one little. 
anomaly, see, I would, I'd pull you up on this one, is why are you telling me there's, there's paintbrushes and there's a relic, but you're not telling me there's a stamp on the level? Why, why are you doing that? Why, why are we emitting the stamp? Did we not just put a stamp image? Could we not just have done that? It's little, little weird anomalies like that that really bug the hell out of me in games. They, they really do bug the hell out of me in games. Oh, my chest. What kind of treasure could be hidden inside? Probably the relic. Rubber relic from the Olmex, an uncanny resemblance to rubber chickens they sell in stores help us understand how far ahead of time the Olmex were. Uh, it's also possible that some tourists left it there. Open map to learn more. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Even though he didn't find the treasure he was hoping for, he got a nice, I'd almost say precious souvenir that will give us a lot to work with. <laughs> Complete the first so 2D temple, so there's more. Okay. That he didn't notice that the beautiful Olmec temple was still crashing down on top of him. And that's when you realize that you should have paid attention in phys ed as well as in archaeology. Luckily, Sarah, Tad's girlfriend, loves him. Despite his unfortunate knack for finding rubber chickens inside Olmec ruins. Who's that dude? <laughs> are we back to 3D or are we still on 2D? Oh, back 3D now. Okay. Hello. <laughs> She's not happy. Told you to get out. Shame it's not voiced. Ted, we told you to get out there so don't touch anything and you still ruin half the day again for a rubber <laughs> chicken. Come on. Go get Brian in the storeroom. I'll stay here and pick up his mess. Press RB to see the mission. I'm pressing RB. Oh, okay. Uh, right then. And now we've got four relics on this. Oh. Oh, is it a little open worldy bit? Interesting. Once again, though, you've you've told us that there's four, you've told us that there's four relics, and we obviously got the paintbrushes again. Hmm. Who are you anyway? Was it Kate? Was it? But why are you not telling us? About, why are you not telling us about the um, um, the old stamps, dude? Seriously, what what what's, what did the stamps do to you? Did they offend you in some way? Okay, so so in in pure video game tradition, right? We go away from the objective. So that's what you do in video games. But I suspect we should go to the objective actually, because um, I imagine he's going to send us on um, as travels down this uh, down this path, um, exploring all this area. Can we go in this water? Oh, yes, indeed we can. A to go, uh, to go up, and B to go down. Okay, we have air bubbles in this uh, in the 3D environment as well. Can we go faster? Okay, let, let's just. What's that? Oh, it's just a reed. Ooh, poop, 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 poop. Yeah, as I was saying, right, some companies can get greedy, right? This could have easily gone on the store at 35, 34 99 something like that. And do you know what would have happened if they'd put it at that price point? It would have died a death. It would have died on its ass. Seriously, it would have done. Uh, for £16.50 uh, or whatever it is, this game's got a chance. And hopefully, me playing it, is going to boost that chance in a small way. Um, oh, I can throw the rubber chicken at the enemies. I just thought maybe press X and we might be able to punch. Oh, enemies give you paintbrushes. Do they count towards the overall percentage? We're going to have to note that. Oh, shh. 
I pressed the A button to jump up onto these vines the second the uh, message appeared, so it obviously cancelled the message. I'm supposed to be going back to Brian. Sorry, Brian, you're gonna have to wait, mate. I'm 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 kinda busy. Um can we not climb up that? Can we climb around? Maybe Ah ha 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 More paintbrushes. Okay. So yeah, over over the few bits of popping and textures loading and stuff like that, um performance wise it seems pretty decent so far. I mean, the popping shouldn't be happening, but, you know, uh -huh. Christ, I mean, I, get, I think probably 99% of games have got some kind of um, popping going on on them. Okay, so that's how I get up. Push in. Oop. let go it's gonna start going back up yes okay so right um there's a paintbrush up there there's more paintbrushes at the back of that as well Okay, I do know from the achievement list we have to get all the paintbrushes, so that is a thing. I can already tell you this is going to be a full playthrough, guys. It's going to be an episodic full playthrough going on the channel for definite. I'm liking it a lot. Okay, uh, do we take fall damage? Oh, what a jump! What a jump, guys! What a jump! Holy shit. There be treasure. Be more treasure. Brazier seems to have an underground lighting system. What could these temples be hiding? My chance to prove my skills as an archaeologist. An underground lighting system. Right, can we... Ow! <laughs> Shouldn't go through here, I better choose another way. Okay, you've invisible walled that off, that's fair enough, that's fair enough. Right. So, I don't think we can... Go anywhere further that way. Okay, let's let's go back. Let's go back to bright. Oh sh! Fall damage. Okay. How did I miss these? I didn't go up here. That's why I was underneath before. rubber chicken has multiple uses X to shoot already figured that out my dude already figured that out already figured that out okay let's hook this uh, let's hook this left wall we haven't found any relics yet let's just hook the left wall Okay, there's some. There's some. Hello, girl whose name I don't remember. Maybe Kay. <laughs> 
Yeah, by the way, you've given, you've given me an open level to explore. I am going to be looking for every nook, cranny, secret. I'll be getting under the map, breaking the map, finding every invisible wall. You name it. You name it. I'll be doing it. Another zip line there. Okay, who's Brian? Brian! Brian, press RB for Brian. It was, wasn't it? RB, oh, RB, oh, Brian's there in the yellow coat. Okay, can we speak to these dudes? No, you just nope. chilling. Don't want to interrupt them talking. Well, I would. Nope. In my game. Let's get those. Let's get these. Let's get these. Okay, is that everything I can get? Oh, hello. Brian has a store himself set up for his brushes, cleaning brushes. He's even put up display cabinets to keep them in. What a freak. Alright, Brian. Jones, I've got a perfect assignment for your oh. skills. My skills? You mean my explorer, intuition, and adventurous instincts? No, I mean your clumsiness, destructiveness. That's why I suggest that you stick to picking up brushes, which is what you're best at. You'll have to find free brush, free brushes brush cleaner. Some jealous person has hidden them from me. You'll recognize them because they'll be the most beautiful ones you've ever seen. Big, golden, shiny. At the department, Miss Emily... 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 Emilia? Emilia. Emilia. You're Emilia now. Whatever. The chair of the brushes, brush cleaner, installed a love for this indispensable tool for my archaeologists and all of us. So start looking. Every time you find one, I want you to bring it back and put it in here. And I've arranged a story especially for them. Find the free brushes. Are they marked on the map if I press the they well one of them is okay okie dokie okie dokie okie dokie more water there can we jump on the tent yeah mm -hmm. let's be on a brain brush cleaner brushes who would have left it here And without breaking anything. Oh, look how that is. That, that kind of, it's kind of weirdly done to detect that. That's, that looks weird, but it looks, it's just kind of good. Okay, it says one, of a t one at a time, I've got to bring them back, so I can't go find all three of them. Put the brush in the display case. Yes, mate, I, I get it, but yeah. I'm not, I'm not a fan of the humor. The, the humor's going past me. It's not my cup of tea, but, you know, it is what it is. It's not a, not a deal breaker. It's a doggo. Wait, doggo. Jeff, where have you been? Woof. Oh, it's a shadow. That was a test for my boss. The real secret is hidden in these ruins and will make you good any history. First, you have to light the sacred fire of Casa Colorado. I'll, I'll leave the third brush cleaner there. Go find it when you deliver the second oh. brush to Brian. Okay. Jeff. J Jeff, my dude. Oh, that's an actual brush. It was different to the first one. Can I not just... Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. And because that's where I just was. Typical. Okay, well, before we do that, we're going to go for a swim in here. Or was it B going down? Yeah, there we go. Under the sea, under the sea. I found a cave. Ooh. Ooh. Small bait. I found the relic that gives off bad vibe. I found a key bad relic in. Get that, thank god. Nearly drowned. So the relic seems to be in chests. 
Fair enough. Is this leading back into that big body of water that I was already in? It is actually, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have to closer look, see if there's any caves or whatnot. Got the oh, we can't, it's up there. Okay, I don't think there is. Let's get out. Okay, that's literally just where I was. Right, I want to see if the brush is from the spider. So it's 29%. Still got 29%. Is this the same camp? No. Now I'm at 30%. Ooh, God, okay. Uh, quick sand. Reckon we can jump that? That'll be a no. So just helping somebody with a game. It's going to be too far to jump.
Be, 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 be. Oh, we're back here. Come on, dude. I do, that's where you put the paintbrushes. Don't come up with that. Okay, so that's where he wants us to go. So maybe something happens now that we've um, died there for story reason. Okay, go get the brush back to the storeroom. Before, were they? How did I miss those? Yeah, dude, last brush, yeah, got you. Uh, no, last brush. Thank you. Why would that open that? Free mega pencil. What? Shh. It's a torch. You hear it again, mate? It's the shadow. Do -do 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 -do. Discover the part of the secret that will grant you access to the Great Pyramid. You need to light the sacred fire of the Olmec. Their flame still burns inside the temple of the snail. You have to convince them to let you through and light all the cauldrons from the underground circuit. But how? Take that torch with you. You're going to need it. I, I can say no more. Fade away like a black fly in the black night. I am a shadow. And I'll now grab the torch. It's <laughs> not a relic. So it says relics on the map. So can I choose different ones? No. We're just rubber checking it. Give the torch to Anne. Who's oh she's called Anne then is she? Good. All the bushes are in the place. Now the new job needs to light up out of the I want to have a sacred lantern, but I don't think that's a man. Okay, Anne. Anne! Where's Anne? Anne is oh Anne is up there. Holy shit. Oh, there's a waterfall there. Oh god, it's gotta be there's gotta be something in the waterfall. If there's no secret behind the waterfall, this game gets a zero out of ten. Zero out of ten, dude. Seriously, there's no secret behind the waterfall. What are you playing at? It's the law. It's the law. If you do a video game with a waterfall in, there has to be something behind it. It is the law. You have to do that. That's what waterfalls are for? Hiding things behind. Seriously. Get with the program game devs. 
eat weed the pre room. Okay, uh, okay, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? You're over there. Okay, let's just uh, grab these lovely things here. And that's the ones in the quicksand area. Okay, we've got to be able to, we've got to get something to allow us into that, haven't we? What's this? Hello, what is this? Jump on it. Oh, look, that shadows are falling. Okay, so these are buttons, but I can't insert it. Oh, yeah, we, we need to know a sequence. Okay. I so want to climb to the top of that. Okay, so she's over there. What's the significance of the brushes, by the way? What is the significance of those? I'm just trying to see if a percentage ever goes up when we pick one of these up, but it hasn't so far, which leads me to believe enemies do not count towards the grand total. Okay, well we ain't climbing up the directly up the steps. Can we walk up this, this slope? Apparently not. I can't grab all of that. Are you, are you serious, dude? Oh, we gotta get a block here. Look. Yeah, you see, you see, this as well, right? Going back to design, right? The game doesn't want us to get up here, does it? Yet. Look, it lets us climb on this. Which is the same height as that. Yeah? So why can we climb on that, but not that? If you don't want us to climb on that, make it a tad higher. Because otherwise it looks stupid, doesn't it? It looks stupid. Outhouse. See, if that was me, that shit wouldn't be happening. You know what I mean? If you, if you can't jump up onto something, it's because it's too high or there's something there. You know what I mean? It's like invisible walls. You know what's better than an invisible wall? A freaking wall. That's what's better than an invisible wall. An actual wall. Or some other kind of barricade or blockage that prevents you from, uh, prevents you from going past it. Okay, well, we get up there at some point, obviously. Um, let's get all the remaining brushes around this camp. achievement attached to it sadly I wish that marker had to stay on the screen permanently so much easier You may don't even think about coming around here. There are precious ruins here, and you're capable of destroying them. <laughs> Just looking at them. That's so it is a secret passage under the Elmic Head that leads to this place. That's what you're 
more talking about like you're the first one to discover it is there didn't hear from me in any case okay so there's a secret passage into that okay got you oh yeah okay we're at 46 percent brushes and two out of four two out of four relics doing good doing good doing good doing good Oh, I didn't, even, I didn't even see them. I just literally... Oh, hello, Mr. Spider. Nope, I didn't go up again, but then that went up straight away. So I, I don't think they count. I think they're just bonus ones. Okay, is this to get the... No. Where's uh, there's the bridge in there? Lovely. Yeah, it's a shame they couldn't get the shadows and the lighting spot on. It is a bit jarring as you're running around about and they just, you know, pop in when you get close to them. It's a bit of a shame that, but uh, so there's a stamp. There's a stamp. See, why do you not tell us that stamps are in... The levels when you tell us the other collectibles are in the levels i don't know if we have to get those all the relics all the brushes all the relics all the brushes yeah it, i don't think we have to get them so in terms of importance especially for achievements i don't think they're needed um but still not everybody's into achievements so oh you okay are you finally the intern come on give me the lantern Who needs a lantern when you collect the real armor? Oh, a torch? You brought me a torch? I don't know what lanterns have been around for hundreds of years and it's not even lit. What am I going to do oh. with this? How did you discover sacred flame burning inside the temple of the snail? Perhaps we could use them to light it. We discovered that the other day, but there's a secret code to get in and we don't have time to play all Mac games. They were very fond of puzzles. You, on the other hand, have all the time in the world. So go on and see if you can get this thing without setting the whole camp alight. Consider it burnt down. Nothing around that corner. Nothing around that corner. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's get this. First of all, let's push this down so we can quickly get back up, I guess. We're pushing that off and she stood there. <laughs> Health and safety just had a fit. This bit of code that Anne said had to be cracked to get in. I guess if I step on these seals, it'll move the clock. I got a bad feeling about this. Ah, shut up. Okay, are these pullable? Because they look like they've got a little ledge on them. No. Nope. Let's go fully around the back. Nothing to collect. Nothing down there. Okay, so we're good to go. Right, what, what does this clock say? This clock... Okay. It's on a like a cross, so do we have that symbol here? All the buttons look the same. Awesome. Let's just stand on the first one, see what happens. Let's just stand on it again. Is it moving a set number? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. 
But if I do five again, it's going to land on that top one. One, two, three, four, five. Are you shitting me? <laughs> Can I still do this? That, that, that is, is, the one button solution, guys. The one button solution. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. There you have it as we go into a dark dungeon. Oh, we're side on again. Uh -huh. Side on again, guys. Hit the bugs with the chicken. Press X to shoot. God, we've already established that game, seriously, dude. Press LB to light the torch. like everyone we pick up is worth one percent so i'm i'm concluding now enemy brushes brushes obtained from enemies and do oh shit he jumped a bit further than i oh jumped a bit further than i thought it would uh, yeah brushes obtained from enemies do not count towards the um towards the tally and we can safely establish that now Oh, it's not lit again. So if you die, it doesn't it? It dies out. Okay, fair enough. Long as you've always got a a, a light, a cauldron, a brazier. Oh, don't like that because if you miss one, then obviously no coming back, are you? Got a torch, torch. So keep the burn flaming. Keep keep the burn flaming. Keep the flame burning. Wake up one day. Seriously. Oh, we might have to go in here for paint. Oh, we do. There's paint brushes underneath. That sucks. Can we throw under the water? No. I guess I have to go back now to, to relight the torch. Since we got it wet. Boing, 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 boing. There's, there's, you're doing it again, aren't you? And there's a stamp. There's another stamp. I think we can conclude there's like one stamp per area. I'm going to have to go back again now to relight. Sixty-four percent, and we've got the stamp. Okay. Why can't I hit this thing? There we go. So this was missable. Just coming back up. Yes.
Okay. Oh, I see. It's like this, is it? Oh, shit, Bob, there's a spider there. Didn't even see the spider. Did I miss it? Or is it still coming through? I missed it. I'm gonna have to wait now. Oh no, no, that's that's a different one. That's a different one. Oh shoot. Okay, this is the big one. Light it up, Ted. I want to get these first, though. Ah, oh, we've done it. There's the hundredth one in the left. Instazam. Cauldrons of duty. <laughs> All the fires in the dig have been lit. Shh. Hey, huh? it's the shadow. the shadow, guys. Watch out. Come on, you again. You've used the underground flow and lit the cauldrons, but that's not all you need to open the entrance to the Great Pyramid and discover its uh -huh. secrets. Listen, perhaps I'll think about it, but it's a risky move and it's going to end up kicking me out. Shh. You're almost there. Light the fire in the Casa Colorado. Uh, you'll find that now you have access to new places that hide mm. new keys and if you know so much Why don't you do it yourself? Mm. You can't risk being seen. I've got to go now. Don't try to follow me. I'm like a shadow mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, as quiet as the wind Arp. So So I still have that but it's not lit. So what did that actually do for me then? All right, she's buggered off Right now we're going over there. Okay. Okie dokie. Okie dokie picking a pokey. Uh, that's quicksand. There's no brushes over there. Okay, we're at 52% for this level. We're also going to get into that big area there. It's going to have a load of stuff. We're also going to get up this temple as well. So that's going to have a load of stuff. Looks like enemies respawn. Or maybe I just missed this one. I don't know. But yeah, that didn't count even, did it? So, yeah, it definitely doesn't count. Go shivery. Ooh, cold, 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 cold winter's day. Experiment, can you jump on spiders? No, you can't jump on them. It's not that kind of game. The thing is, right, if it doesn't... Wow. Fire has been like, but there's still no braziers to lie. I need to find the mechanism that activates the almanac head. Of your uncle, you mean? That's not where you're telling me to go, though. I need to know the sequence of what... Yeah, I still can't. 
I still can't light these. It's not letting me. Some brushes I missed though. Okay, so I guess we go up here and we found that room, didn't we? Where we have to light the braziers. Does that stay... Does that stay lit? It doesn't. Okay. I, I guess they're just going to be automatically lit in there. Oh, typical. Messed it up. Messed it up like a dingus. Why dingus is such a word for me at the moment? Don't know why. I think Poppy started saying it. There we go. This ain't gonna be lit though, is it? That's the problem. Is it? Ah, that is lit. The place holds secrets, so I expect to find. If you use a torch like the brazier, then I'll be able to. It's full of quicksand. Hasn't been activated all over the dig, and there's one in front of the quicksand that lets you cross it. I'll have to go have a look into it. Nice. You're a modern day Sherlock Holmes. Let's get these, I guess. You. Climb over this just to make it easier. Guess not. Let's try this way this time. Yeah, that was much easier that side. Okay, and we know a door opened down here, didn't that? Um, if we drop off there, maybe. No, don't do that. Uh, right, you do that and then go, go. Ooh. A relic. We have four relics and loads of boxes. That's boosting me from 57%. Oh, this is going to be 1% each. Oh, well, I'll count. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, is... Yep, yeah, okay, dude. Is there, is there a... Is there a quick way out of this? Can I just jump over here, maybe? Just jump off this? Yeah, it works. Okay, so it now wants me to go to where the quicksand was. We know where that is, don't we? Whee! Yep, there's the lever that it opened up. What problem? Timer on the screen would be nice on this one. Mm. 
timer on screen would have been lovely. Never mind now. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, it's the shadow. Yeah. Mm. Discover something very important. That lever has a lot of new secret that will help us open the Great Pyramid. You have to find the code that unlocks the passageway under the Almanac head. Almanac, Almanac head. It's the only way to get into the Temple of Warriors without being seen by Ryu. Mm. Can about? And once you're in, pull the three levers that bring the ancient Olmec warriors to life and open the Great Pyramid. We're so close to... That doesn't sound like a good idea, bring the ancient Olmec warriors to life. How do you know so much? When we found what's hidden in the pyramid, you'll meet my boss and she'll fill you in everything for now. I've got to go. I'll try and follow you. Because you're like a shadow. And with that, we'll be like a shadow and disappear till next episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. See you on um, episode two.